Good day, artists. So in that book that you just listened to, the pumpkin book, we saw and learned all kinds of things about pumpkins. Now we're at the time of the year, we're coming into the full swing of fall where we're going to start seeing pumpkins all over the place. And that's what we're going to draw today. So we need to start off with our paper turned the way I have mine in front of me. This is what we call having our paper in landscape. So before we draw anything, the very first thing we want to do is we want to fold this paper over. So we're going to take one hand and hold down the side of our paper. We're going to take our other hand and grab the opposite side or the other side. We're going to bring it over, slide it till we line up those edges, and then we're going to press it down. That way we know where the middle of our page is. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm going to draw with a marker here just for the sake of y'all being able to see better what I'm doing. But bear in mind that it's always better for you guys to start with a pencil. That way, if you make a mistake or you do something that you're not happy with, you can make a, a change and correct it. So the first thing we want to do is make two dots that are on this crease where we folded our paper. One near the top, but not all the way, and one near the bottom, but not all the way. Now to create this pumpkin, we're going to use curved lines. So I'm going to start at my top dot, and I'm going to make a curved line that goes all the way to my bottom. I'm going to go back to my top dot and curve all the way down to the bottom, which will kind of make it look like a banana, but just trust the process. It'll be a pumpkin, I promise you. Um, now, we're going to come and we're going to make one more from the top dot to the bottom dot. Now, a couple things that you need to try to keep in mind while you draw. We don't want these lines to touch each other. The only place these lines should touch is at those two dots that we made. So once we make the three curved lines on this side, we're going to come to the other side. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to make three curved lines from the top dot to the bottom dot that never touch each other. Just like that. And that's a big part of the pumpkin. That's the, the main part of the gourd. Now, there is another part of the pumpkin that grows up on the, off the top here. Does anybody know what that part's called? If you know, yell it at your screen. Just shout it out. Did you say it was a stem? Yeah, it's the stem that goes right there. Now, to make a stem is super easy. We need two straight lines, one, two, and we're almost there. And then we need a zigzag line. And there you have it. That's a stem for our pumpkin. Now, the last thing that we need to draw before we start coloring is a very, very special line that's called a horizon line. Can y'all say that? Horizon line. Now, a horizon line is, is very special because of the job that it does. A horizon line's job is to show us where the ground stops and where the sky starts. Say that with me. A horizon line's job is to show us where the ground stops and where the sky starts. So when we do that, all we have to do is start at the side of our pumpkin and go all the way to the side of our paper. And then we come to the other side of our pumpkin and we go from the side of our pumpkin all the way to the side of our paper. And then at that point, we're ready to color. Now when we color, we want to think about some things. We want to think about what color is a pumpkin. And then we want to make it, try to make it that natural color. We want to think about what color is the ground. Is it going to be grass or is it going to be dirt? And for whichever one, think about what color is grass or what color is dirt. And then when we do our sky, you know, we think, is it going to be a blue sky or is it going to be a nighttime sky or whatever kind of sky? But we want to make sure we color all of it. So when it's finished, it should look something similar to this. So I've got my grass colored down here. Notice from the horizon line all the way to the bottom, I color the grass color. And from the horizon line all the way to the top, 
I do the sky color. And then I've got my nice big orange pumpkin sitting right in the middle. Good luck to you with this, y'all. I know you're going to do amazing, and I can't wait to see the pumpkin patch that your class creates. Until I see you again, take care, and as always, happy arting, my friends.